Maybe you saw this on BuzzFeed or something. An apartment in Paris opened in 2010 for the first time in 70 years, perfectly and forever preserved in 1940. Pop culture sites made a big deal out of Mickey here. Sorry, Mickey. Mickey is nothing compared to what else they found. A portrait of a woman. Her pink dress swishing around her like clouds. She holds her dress up under her shoulder. Is she keeping it up or pulling it down? Mickey, sorry Mickey. What they didn't tell you on Buzzfeed or whatever is that in this apartment, they found a portrait worth three million euros. This is Marta de Florian. Giovanni Boldini was an Italian portraitist. At the height of his career in the late 1800s, Boldini was considered the most fashionable portraitist in all of Paris. He was called the master of the swish. So he was known for these really realistic portraits with this signature swirling brush stroke. Basically, he was the new, really expensive Instagram filter and everybody wanted it. I should confess to you, I adore this man's paintings. I love them. And so did the glitterati of the Belle Epoque in Paris. Enter Marta de Florian. She was a socialite and high-class demi dame. What is that? <laughs> it means courtesan or kept woman. And this chick had lovers. She was sleeping with men as notable as the people Boldini was painting. Georges Eugene Benjamin Clemenceau, the man who became the prime minister of France in World War I. Pierre Marie René Ernest Waldeck Rousseau, the 29th French prime minister. Paul Eugene Louis de Chanel, the president of France in 1920 and 1921. All of them Marta's lovers. And do you know who else she was sleeping with? Giovanni Boldini. But despite all these powerful men, Marta was, in her lifetime, forgotten from the pages of history. Giovanni Boldini died in 1931. Marta died in her apartment in Paris in 1939. You have already seen pictures of this apartment. You probably looked at them on your desktop at your day job or something. After Marta died, the apartment was bequeathed to her granddaughter, Solange. But Solange was a writer and had to escape the Nazis in the 1940s, and she never returned to Paris. So Marta's apartment sits forgotten through the end of World War I, through the Cold War, through the Beatles, through till 2010, when Solange dies at the age of 91. And her relatives find this. A portrait of the beautiful courtesan and socialite Marta had been. It took art historians a little time to verify the legitimacy of the painting. But the piece of evidence that sealed the deal, that said this was a bona fide Boldini, a love letter found in the apartment, handwritten from Giovanni to Marta.